My name is Joanna Stottlemyre. I have my husband, Dan, and my daughter, Victoria, my son, Noah, and my baby, Ashley, and she's in heaven. She died on April 23rd. Throughout her open heart surgery, she had very high pulmonary pressures. Um, so, and then after that, she just had multi-organ failure. We had decided to take her off life support on Good Friday. We were able to take her outside. She was able to smile when she felt the wind on her face. So it's an amazing time. Eventually, my husband and I took turns holding her and felt her as she took her last breath. As I say that, I realize it sounds horrifying. <laughs> but it wasn't. It was really beautiful. And, um, I was really glad that we were able to have that time together to say goodbye. We miss her every day, but we do believe that we'll be reunited again. We found out we were pregnant um, and we'd done fertility treatments and I just had a hunch that it was twins. Everything looked, continued to look okay up until the 24th week when my water broke. Kennedy, she was the smaller of the two. She um, developed very severe brain bleeds in her head. And then she, um, she held on for five days. The same day, Graham, our son, had, he had been doing awesome for a 24 weeker. And he developed a perforation in his intestines. Two days after Kennedy passed away, he did as well. Their tiny little bodies went through so much, and they made it through a lot more than you know a, a lot of people could. Matthew was a fighter. Basically, one side of his heart really didn't work very well, and the other side didn't work well enough to compensate. Right. I it's ironic that you know the doctors mentioned it's going to be a marathon. We were all just cheering on Matthew. Right. You know, it was, it right. was really, really a neat thing. Well, Matthew had um, gotten an infection throughout his body. Um, about a week later, he got a secondary infection, and the secondary infection um, was eventually you know, when he passed away. And I leaned over him and I whispered, Peace, love, and God's plan for you. And that's what happened. I felt it. Um, had my face next to his little face and felt him breathe on me for the last couple of times. And it was peaceful. Why, why an angel mile? Um, well, it's because our children they lived their whole lives fighting, some of them. They didn't lose their battle. They finished their battle or they finished the race. And their race might have been tougher and shorter than the rest of ours, um, but they finished. Mm -hmm. And exactly. they're exactly where they're supposed to be. They've faced battles and obstacles bigger than, you know, many of us face in a lifetime. To be able to say, hey, you did it. I'm going to keep going and I'm going to finish the race. We were with our children over the finish line. So we're doing something amazing and carrying on their legacy, but turning it into something positive. Music